Yo, Rick, why ain't you on Clubhouse, my man? That's a question I get a lot these days. Also got a couple of invitations. I was asked to host an event even. And the short answer is because I do not have an iPhone. Well, that's not the whole truth. Because I hear Apple is producing so many iPhones that some online stores actually sell them. And if I wanted to use Clubhouse, nothing would keep me from getting a cheap iPhone. But I would have to register and that's where the trouble begins. Because, let's face it, Clubhouse is a privacy issue. My personal problem is not so much that there may be some hiccups with the GDPR, which are absolutely there, but my main issue is this. When you register for Clubhouse, you have to give the app access to all your contacts. Now, I don't know about your phone, but on my phone, I have a lot of contacts stored. Lots of private numbers from my customers, some private email addresses, some other information. And I will definitely not give any up access to all this information. They might build shadow profiles. They might even contact these people at the later stage and ask them to join the app. Who knows what happens? To me, this is a question of responsibility. So if I ever will use Clubhouse, I might get an iPhone. I might register in new accounts, I might not store any contacts on the phone, but then again, what's the point of using social media? From what I understand, Clubhouse is all about expertise. And if you ask me, of course, in marketing, shortages, beta invites, stuff like that, all the hype, that works brilliantly. But if Clubhouse is really about expertise, they actually don't need all this stuff. But it's always the same. New app gets a lot of hype. I wonder where Clubhouse is going to be in six months. Until then, I'll keep waiting patiently and keep focusing on LinkedIn. See you guys.